I told my boss, it ain't no limit. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bears and the Jets coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here. As it'll be the AFC champion, New York Jets, taking on the NFC champions, the Chicago Bears. The long fortnight of Super Bowl week is over, and away we go in Super Bowl 58. right is Wilson. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. This Super Bowl, of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines in a game of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask the cliche, what's going through his mind right now? But maybe the better question, CD, what do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon. He had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw that his team was good, if he was smart, he started to make plans right then and there. Reach out to other coaches who've been there before, find out how they handled winning, losing, handling all the ticket situations, travel, practice, all those things, and then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. Now Jones. Looking left side and it's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season. And that's his first catch of the Super Bowl. And he picks up the first down. Jones. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really good pickup of 28 yards. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. and 10, it's Hall. And this time they were ready for him as they stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Back to throw. Jones finding Hardman here over the middle. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now 4-4, four four, but might need to be 5-5 five five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because 4-4 four four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, it shows confidence in your offensive line. Here's Jones on first and ten. Flush to his right. 
And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Daniel Jones taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Jets are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And I'm sure for these guys, a break from the conference championship of the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. The extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7 nothing game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Bayless Jones now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 18. Here's Fields. Pass complete. George Pickens with it. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. First and 10 at the 39 yard line. Now Fields. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Quentin Williams able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. That's a good bounce pass play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. You know it was tough for them to stand on the sidelines and watch the other team take it downfield and score, wasn't it? So they knew when they got on the field, it's on them. Pick up first downs, get downfield and score. How about them picking up that third and short? I was just going to say, you and I were talking before the game, those third down conversions are going to be huge in this one. Fields on first down. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. Second down and eight. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season. And that run puts him over 500 yards in the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for 1,000? Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
Out of the gun, here's the give to Hubbard. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. Here's second and nine. They'll send the tight end in motion left. On second and nine, Fields. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. On third down, here's a run by Hubbard. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On first and 10, here's Fields. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. It sort of looks like they start some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were heading for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's Fields. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Quinnen Williams, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls. But only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. This one is Slayton over the middle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. Well, so much for holding to a field goal. The pressure they got home on the previous play didn't hear. And that bought their quarterback some time to find a receiver. And it sets up a first and goal. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Fields tapping it forward. Jet sweep. And he will score! Touchdown, Chicago! George Pickens from six yards away. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one else going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Catch is made by Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. 
that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Straight ahead is Hall. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? The last run got six. Now second and four. The slot man in motion right. Ball again on second down. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle in the last play. Huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Back to throw. Jones. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32-yard line. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they were right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? All again on second down. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. That one, a first down pickup of eight. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Here's Hall again. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Here's second and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They'll run with Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Jets have taken the lead. Now the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill. Oh, well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ashton Davis. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Randy, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began. And they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Off play action, Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And the Bears are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt. And their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught downfield by Slayton. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Second and 10. And the slot man goes in motion left. Here's Fields now on second down. Going right side, he finds Slayton. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run round. Got a man, Slayton. And he will have the Bears first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. To the air again, Fields. Looking in zone for Jones. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Back to the airfields on second down. He's going to take another shot here. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to our EA studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis, operating gun set and ready to rock for the third quarter. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Now they trail here in the Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. 
Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. Well, the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. To throw his fields. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Ashton Davis. And the Jets are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already. And we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And their defense just helps them out by getting the football back on the open driver in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. from the gun. Jones. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. On the counter, it's Hall. Ooh, the juke. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Jones. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Barrios. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 40. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Jones throwing on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? To try again after the sack. Jones taking a deep shot here for Hardman. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Amani Hooker. And the Bears are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter, but now potentially a play that could have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up, but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, they certainly aren't letting up today, partner, because they've forced big turnovers already. And it's been incredibly tough for them to get yards against, let alone put points up on the board. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
And that will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part and got on the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and ten. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Second and 11 now. Jones. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. He said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. On third down, here's home. And the ball is knocked out. And this is picked up by the Bears. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Extra point right down the middle, and it's now 17-14. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Looking to throw. Jones. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. They go play action here on first down. This is caught. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Nicole Hardman, a 22-yard touchdown ground. And the Jets have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open in the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. No run back here for Jones, a touchback.
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. A give up the middle, Hubbard. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off a of place like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Fields now to throw. Completes this one to Pickens. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Marking down at the 9. A well-executed 22-yard game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. On second and goal, Fields. And he's got it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Third and goal, a big play in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Throwing again is Fields. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. For once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that'll bring him back within a point. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with a potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. 
So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down. Jones, he finds Wilson. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game. And he's got a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Paul on a give up the middle. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Well, with a fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing Jones. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Isaiah Simmons picking it off. And the Bears are going to take possession of the football. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's exactly what you're looking for at the inside linebacker spot. Versatility. He can drop into coverage, or as he did on that last play, use his speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. Meanwhile, field throw taken in by Slayton. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now third down and six to go. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Throwing on third down, Fields. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of laying behind it, and they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that wasn't like a 33-yarder. That was long distance. Not only does it show the faith that they have in him, but also remember, if they miss that one, they're giving up the ball near midfield. So they had to be very confident that he was going to put that one to the pace. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. They have passed the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Now Jones. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The sack by Robert Quinn. 
and no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a really difficult task. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles, and that time a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though the ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They get the USC man, Elijah Vera Tucker. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Back to throw. Jones on the slant. He's got Hardman. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll make it second down. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones locates Hardman for another catch. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. Jones. And he completes it to Wilson. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today. But sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more than it was right there. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. And here's another kneel down as they'll try to set up the game winner. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to do next for the lead here's third and goal Jones keeping it on the sneak and he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two yard line now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next the kicker in a big spot here this for the lead in the final stages and his kick is good and with a little over a minute to play they have taken the lead so he waited on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game and it didn't come until the fourth quarter but he connects there a big one to give him the lead boy you talk about coming in cold i don't care how many times you kick it into a net you're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. 
Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, who a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you brought a huge mistake late. It's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints first time. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well, but I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I consider it over. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six, Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders, and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison and the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big-time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man, Willie Brown, 75 yards. You recall him on what a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Here's Fields. And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. Sauce Gardner picks it off. Well, this game has not been short on entry, but that's the backbreaker right there, and it's going to put any hope of victory to bed. Yeah, they knew they needed the touchdown, and when you have that little time remaining, they know they've got no choice except to go for broke, and that they did. But the interception, that means defeat. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this. Practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the New York Jets have won the Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy will be in the Big Apple. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.